is to a brother named Ish, making bad music with Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair and use the uh, Sony Ericsson HBH IS800 Bluetooth wireless headphones along with the BlackBerry series. Um, now I'm going to be using a BlackBerry Curve 8530 with an OtterBox on it. So if you want to see the review on the OtterBox, you can check my channel for that. First thing you want to do, now if you turn on the headphone unit, um, if you press the button for like three seconds, it's going to turn the power on. If you hold, press and hold the power button for six seconds, it's going to go into pairing mode. So let me go ahead and do that. So we'll count it off here. One, two, three. There's the power beep. Four, five. Okay, now it's in pairing mode after about five seconds of holding that down. So you see that it's blinking there. So I'm going to jump over to my BlackBerry here, and I'm going to choose the menu button right there. And then you're going to want to go into setup right there. Okay. And once you go into setup, you'll choose setup Bluetooth. And then you're going to want to choose search. So let's let it run through here. And you can see that the light's still blinking on the side of those there. Now it said found one item. It was probably found my MacBook as well. So, okay, here we go HBH IS800. Okay. So I'm going to choose that waiting now it's asking for the serial pass key so I'm going to choose four zeros right there okay so one two three four I'm going to hit my middle key and I just heard a blip in my headphones and pairing and I'm going to choose yes that I want to pair I'm also going to click do not ask this again and I'm going to choose yes okay waiting now you'll see hands-free stereo audio AV remote control are all checked off and there are my headphones in my BlackBerry device now. Um, if you come over to the play function you can go into your music player right here and um, I've already got a song playing so um, you can either go into the now playing function if you want or you can use the buttons at the top here as usual with the BlackBerry so I'm just gonna back out of it completely. Alright so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button or the play pause button on the side of the IS 800s and let me let you hear the quality here this is one of my songs okay so there you have it let me put this back in here okay so you can also hit the button again to pause and so there you have For the that. Blackberry you just use the volume controls over here so let me hit play again. Let you guys show you the volume. And then you can also use pause, play. You can you can switch to the next track previous track so very functional uh, let me hit the pause button here okay so very functional with the uh, the BlackBerry curve I'm, I'm very impressed with it I've got control over the volume settings and everything which I didn't have really much control I didn't feel like I had much control when I was using it with my iPod touch but a lot of people say that uh, the iOS 4 for the uh, iPhone 4 and the iPod touch uh, the OS 4 works a lot better with this unit so and then the call handle quality is very good as well um, of course you know if you have the headphones in your ears and a call comes in you can take and receive you know make make calls from here you can use voice activated controls from these headphones and uh, the sound quality for my incoming and outgoing calls is very good so I'll, I really love the fact that I can have my music playing and then I can uh, make and receive calls through the same set of headphones. I don't have to unplug them or disconnect or do any of that stuff. So um, very, very handy. Part of the reason I bought the BlackBerry Curve um, as my you know, new phone choice and everything. Now one thing, let me point out. If when you disconnect this unit, let's say that you're playing music. Okay, so we've got the music playing. Now you can go in and if you hold the power button down it's going to turn the unit off but it it's locked up my BlackBerry a few times when I do that so what you want to do 
is you want to stop playing the music first. So if you press this once, let me do this. Press once. Okay, that's going to stop the music. After you stop the music, then press and hold to turn the power off. You'll hold it for about three or four seconds. Okay, now the power's off on the unit. Now, if I just if I'm playing and I go straight to power off, it, like I said, sometimes it locks up the BlackBerry. But if I stop playing the music first and then turn the power off, it releases the BlackBerry. Now you'll notice that the blue light is still going to be blinking, and it'll do this for a couple of minutes, and then a message will pop up and says, "Cannot there." Right there it is. Let's say connection to HBHIS 800 terminated. So that is the correct way to disconnect your headphones. Uh, when I first used this with my OtterBox case, you can find a review on my channel for this case as well, the quality decreased drastically because I already had, um, I originally paired it without the OtterBox and then I put the OtterBox on and the quality went down terribly. So if that happens to you, um, go back into the menu settings, go back into your menu, go into setup, go into Bluetooth, choose cancel, and then you'll see that the headphones are highlighted if you hit the menu button right here on the side of that you can choose to um, disable bluetooth you can delete the device so you would delete the device and then repair like i showed you in the beginning of this video and that should st straighten out any quality issues that you might have you know if you're getting bad audio quality so this i will show you real quick as far as charging um, you go the opposite of this so the charging is up here and if you follow this unit straight up, this little back plate pops off right there. And then you plug in. Um, you're going to want to look at it like this so that the headphone goes like that. And then you plug it in like that and it's charging. So I've gotten a lot of people asking, how the heck do you charge this unit? Because it's very compact and it's very kind of closed, you know, like that. So, okay, so I think that's about it. Just wanted to give you guys a basic review on how this works with the BlackBerry Curve. Um, I gotta say I like it a lot better than when I was using it with my iPod Touch um, because I can do call handling. Now if you have an iPhone 4 or whatever this would probably work pretty well, you know, or if you have an iPhone uh, 3 with uh, iOS 4 installed then it should work pretty well. It works great for call handling and stuff like that, very good quality. And um, I guess that's about all I have to say. Sorry this video ran so long. I'm kind of rambling today, but I just wanted to try to cover all the bases with this item. So there you have it. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please post a comment. And as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace.